He's on the line. Tommy Hazelden. Hello, mate. G'day, guys. How's it going? The phenomenon from the show. The cult. The cult figure. How are you feeling, Tommy? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm really enjoying, obviously, the, the start we've had to the season and, um, you know, taking on that role. You know, playing a few few more minutes each week, it, it's been really good. The sliding doors of, you know, getting to rugby league and some kids could have made it, but somehow were missed. What's your story, Tommy? How'd you end up in the Shire? I was just playing, um, you know, first grade footy back in Goulburn and uh, Gav Miller was there catching, the, catching me in a few games and uh, gave Grant Jones, who was the uh, recruitment guy at the Sharks at the time, a call and I came up for a a trial at the end of 2017 for the uh, Jersey flag side and, you know, sort of been here ever since. So you reckon, Tom, is it viable that if Gavin Miller doesn't see it, who's a club grade, of course, won a couple of Dalliums, I think you'll find, um, is it quite viable that if he doesn't see you for whatever reason that maybe none of us see you playing in the National Rugby League? Yeah, I think so. I owe, I owe a lot to Gav for that. Um, you know, I sort of was doing a little bit with Canberra and just in the country sort of championships and stuff, but... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say my life would probably be in a different spot right now if it wasn't for Gav, for sure. Hey, Shell, you know how I talk about my playlist, the Mummel Mash? Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom would know where Mummel is. It's just outside a beautiful Goulburn. There you there go. There you go. And look, I tell you, if Gav <laughs> wouldn't, didn't uh, didn't discover you, I would have. I watch, uh, I watch the Bulldogs go around. Actually, they had a tough loss against the Bushies this weekend. So there you go, Goulburn Bulldogs. But listen, um, I want to ask you a little bit about um, the influence of uh, Dale Finucane, obviously him uh, you know, forced into retirement. Unfortunately, he's been such a trooper for the game. But I wanted to hear from one of his teammates and, and just how influential he was and what sort of stuff you've taken away from him um, and, and as part of your game, your your regime? Yeah, obviously he's just the ultimate professional, Dale, and, um, you know, it's remarkable sort of the impact that he's had on our club in such a small time and uh, just the way he goes about, you know, his preparation and his training and it's no, no surprise that he is the person he is and the player he is more importantly and I think he's been really good for a lot of us young guys and we've been able to, you know, get a lot out of him about his preparation and, um, yeah, he's, he's going to be sorely missed in our pack and uh, it's a good opportunity for a lot of us other guys to sort of step up and take on a bit more of a role, you know, in his absence. Round three against the West Tigers. Okay, what do these rounds have in common, Tom? Round three, West Tigers. Round seven, North Queensland. Round eight, Canberra Raiders. What do those three rounds have in common? A few meat pies, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'd be I'd be warning uh, Ronaldo Militalo that don't get too comfy with that oh, leading try scorer. Yeah. Here comes big Tom Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's good. I'm, say... I'm happy for Ronnie to keep keep jamming him. He's doing a really good job for us this year uh, so far, Ronnie. Am I right in saying that your uh, big first grade debut was that on the back of Wade Graham being injured? It was a foot injury or something like that. Was that... Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think Wado. Yeah, missed. Missed it for a foot injury or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, in 20, 2022, that was. So, yeah, it was a, obviously a disappointing night, that one. We got beat by the Roosters, but obviously it was a, it's still a special one for me. I don't reckon many people have done this. Uh, your first two games were against the same team, Tom. You played yeah, the Roosters no, twice. And pretty much 12 months apart. Yeah. Was, yeah, no. Different result the second time, though. You got your first win in that second one. Yeah, that's right. It was good to good to get a bit of redemption there, and um, you know, it was, ever since then, it's just been good being able to sort of be a constant, you know, figure in the team and just uh, go about doing my part every week and earn the the trust of the players and staff to just continue to do that job. Do you remember who your first trial was against? Um, Bulldogs, I think. Hey, at do, you home. Com- do you want to commentate it? Yeah, I went. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I um. I thought he was oh, going to yeah, give it a crack. Was... <laughs> nah, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Listen, I want yeah. to know a little bit more about Craig Vicks Gibbon as well because um, you know, he, he breeds success. He's yeah. he's just an absolute legend of the game. But you guys have really sort of flown under the radar, radar kept out of the you know, the headlines. Quite achievers this year. But what's um, you know, you, you had a bit of a, a mixed season sort of last year. What's what's been the difference? Obviously, a big preseason. Um, but what what's changed this year? Yeah, we we had a really good preseason. Um, you know, all the boys worked really hard. But you know, just that you know, it was another. Another summer together and another, you know, pre-season, you know, buying into what he's about and, you know, just 
building that connection again with with the whole squad. You know, this is our third year together now, and um, you know we're feeling pretty comfortable. Obviously, it's only very early in the year, and uh, you know we still have a few levels to go to improve and you know build our consistency. But um, you know he's brought a lot of confidence to the group since he's came in fits here, and um, you know I'm no surprise that um, you know we're having a little bit of success um, for what he's brought in. Chatting with Tom Hazelden, who's got these, he's a mega star there at the show. Don't worry about that. He can't walk down the mall without the paparazzi <laughs> getting to him. Hey, um, Tommy, there's always one player, right, who you play with, and they, you just love playing with them. It's a bit hand in glove. You feel very comfortable with them. Who's that player for you? Um, I think uh, it speaks for himself. But when Nico's when Nico's on and he's um, confident, uh, you know, he brings that aura to the to the dressing room, um, you know, and he, you know, gives everyone else confidence uh, as well. And he just goes about his, his business so well, you know, on and off the field. And, you know, if you look around and, uh, you know, he's ready, you know, you're in for a pretty good arvo. Okay. So the whole Shark squad are on the try line. And Fitzy says, righto, if you ever wear jumpers one to seven, you're out, step back. Everyone else, it's a 50-metre dash. Who's the trifecta? Um, I think Blake Braley, you'd have to throw him in there at the nine. Yeah. Um, should have bloody taken Toby Rudolph. Too, Toby, yeah. Rudolph. Toby Rudolph. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, maybe Britt Nakora. Britt Throw him in there. He's, he's pretty pacey. But yeah, I think Toby's a bit of a surprise one, eh? I think he's, I think he's our fastest middle. When he gets, gets a bit of a head of steam up, he's, he gets moving the big fella. Wow, I didn't know that. Hey, what about, um, tell us a bit a little about Tom Hazelden. So if you're not playing rugby league, and I know the coaches want a bit of balance at all clubs, you know, for players, what, what do you like doing? What do you spend Please don't say time? PlayStation. Please don't say PlayStation. <laughs> no, I tried to get into that a little bit last year with um, Kay Dykes, but, you know, he's he's on there too much and I was starting to get square eyes looking at the TV, the amount he wanted yes. to play. But, um, no, I like playing a bit of golf every now and then. Obviously, the body... Um, you know, it's good to give it a little a break as well. But yeah, play a bit of golf, um, spend a bit of time down at the beach, a few coffees, that sort of stuff. Nothing too over the top, pretty casual. Who's who's the golfers? And I, I know your, your media man, Robbie Willis. I think Robbie's a pro, wasn't he? Um, yeah. Have you done much with him? No, I haven't. I haven't had a round with Rob. But yeah, we had a club golf day last year and um, he was there showing off. So um, yeah, he's... Few, few of the boys get around it, but none, none really serious. We all just like having a bit of a hit every now and then. Okay, all right. I, I heard a rumor that there was a player in your team who might have wrapped a, a coach's car up in um, Glad Wrap one day. That wasn't you, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Um, I'll, that I'll leave that anonymous, but it, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, just having a look at the competition this year, without you know the bleeding obvious, who is the team to beat? Who's the, who's the one where you really think, well, you know, they, they've they've, can, they've got the ability to go all the way. Um, I think the the proof is in you know the last three years. I think you know the squad that Penrith have and the way they go about their business. Um, there's there'll be no surprise that they'll be there at the business end of the year again. Tommy, what do you want to do after rugby league? Like it's, it's going to happen to us all at one stage. What what's the plan for you? Um, well, I was going to start a carpentry apprenticeship before I moved to to um, Sydney. So you know, maybe that dad's a bricklayer, and I won't be going back to do that. I can assure you. But, oh wow, that's just hard. Um, Too much hard work. Yeah, just yeah. I haven't put a lot of thought into it yet. Um, but yeah, probably something on the tools. I'd say. Have you had a crack at one of these local derbies before? They're pretty special. Yeah, played in the um, in the one at Shark Park there last year, and um, obviously it's a it's a match that both teams will be up for. So I, I'm really excited for Sunday. You should be excited for the next month. What about this, Michelle? So you have got the local derby, which regardless of where teams are coming, it's a it's a big occasion. Yep. It's a main event on Sunday. Then you've got the Melbourne Storm. Then you've got the Roosters, and then you've got the Panthers. Oh, it's a fair uh, run. It's a it's a good it's a good opportunity to have though, Tom, isn't it? Just to work out where you're at. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Check. Obviously, um, you want to test yourself against the best, and um, you know they're they're three fixtures that we're going to have to be at our best for to to get a result. And um, you know we're just looking for that consistency. So we'd like to put a good performance on this Sunday against the Dragons, and you know that's the most important one to us at the moment. So that's where all our focus is. 
when you're not Tom Hazelwood on the Rugby League player, the athlete, and you're just the fan. You're watching another sport, and you're, you're a big fan. What, what sport is it? What team you're choosing on? Or maybe it's a person. No, I'm a soccer fan. I played soccer, you know, most of my life growing up. Mm. So I follow Manchester United. So I follow the Premier League pretty closely. And, um, yeah, I, I don't mind watching watching the soccer or, you know, the golf when it's on too. When we have the, the Aussie guys going well, that's always, you know, Are good you to watch as well. Are you a fan of Liv? You bought into that one or PGA purist? Uh, I'm not, you know, too fast really. Like, obviously, Cam Smith's on the on the live now and he's, you know, probably our main guy. So when that's on, I give it a bit of a watch and tune in. Obviously the Masters was on the other week, so that was good watching as well. Tell you what, Michelle, I'm tip- if he's a golfer, because you have that eye to contact strike, so whether it's a bat, ball, foot, and he's a soccer player, I'm tipping five metres in from the touchline if needed, Tommy Hazel, and you could bang it straight over the dot. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll see it one day, who knows. You hit him all right? I love Joel and he's no, visualising. Jo- well, Johnny he's Scandalis. So good to visualise. Clo- Paints the picture perfectly for radio. Johnny Scandalis <laughs> was a closet goal kicker. And, and at training. No, well, I don't want you to fall to the same fate, Tom. Like, he was a closet goal kicker. At training, he'd always challenge me and he'd, they'd all go over. And then one day, yeah. we had a bit of a lead. And I said, Right, oh, Scando, have a crack. And absolutely pressure. Some of it, some get eaten by it. Tommy, pressure can blast up. diamonds or break pipes. Well, he broke pipes that day. It was a shocker. Oh. So make sure you're ready for that moment when it comes. Yeah, I will be. Don't you worry. All right, mate. Make sure you're ready for the Dragons too. It's a big game coming up. Y- your career's flying. Uh, I did say before with the challenge, what is round three, round seven, round eight? Let's throw round nine into it as well, hey? How's that sound for another meat pie? Yeah, why not? Beautiful. Oh, I, Beautiful. I love the enthusiasm. Yeah. Oh, there's one here from um, Angela. Angela from um, Kiriwee says, uh, can you please ask Tom, is he taken? Are you still on the market, oh. Tom? <laughs> it's Sorry, always what was one. that? Are you still on the Angela market? Angela from Kiriwee's on the text says, can you please ask Tom, Partner? sounds like a nice guy, is he taken or still on the market? <laughs> no, I'm taken. I've got a partner. We've been together for you know nearly three ne- years now and we live together. She's a golden girl originally as well, so I've... Dragged her out of gold and up to some greener pastures and um, all, yeah, we're all good here. She's loving oh, it. She's made the move. That's commitment. Beautiful. He's uh, off the market. Yeah, beautiful, sure. mate. Well done. Well done. Awesome uh, chat. Good on you, Tom. Mate, you're welcome to the show anytime. We appreciate your time here on the run home. No worries, guys. Thanks for having me.